Thank you, Tanya. Um, let me tell you one thing that I, uh, I, I really like about this small room I'm in right now. That I can sit on the side and tears can run down my face and everyone gets it. I don't have to explain it because we live it and we know it. Next on the stage, we have Stephanie Harp. Stephanie Harp is an international advocate for murdered, missing, exploited, and indigenous peoples. She is recognized by the United Nations Program Co Coordinator. Uh, she is a murder attempt survivor. Murdered mother, Ruby Ann McDonald. She was recently asked by the United Nations to attend the biggest youth conference in the world in Malaysia. This is Stephanie. Stage is yours. I do this a lot. I travel all over and I speak all over, but I'm tired of speaking. What I'm looking for is now action for all, all of us. I am someone who was almost murdered, attacked from behind, and almost choked to death. I couldn't breathe. But I fought for my life, and now I fight for others' life, and I'm here today to tell you that we are resilient in this struggle, that you will not silence us, that we will continue to share our truth. We are movers, we are shakers, and that's what's important right now. And we need to realize the fight isn't between you and me. The fight is out there with those that keep failing us. And that's all there is to it. Now, with what's going on and the world getting shut down and COVID going on, let me tell you something. In an overpopulated world, mental health is an issue straight out. Straight out. So this is something we need to address. We can't tell you what to do. You're not well enough to make that decision. You need this time of shutting down to search within your soul and address the anger and the hate and the racism and the stereotypes you harbor. Go to your rooted pain. That's where it starts. Once you deal with your rooted pain, all of a sudden, you're digging out something beautiful again. And you're rooting out the good, you're rooting out the bad. And then all of a sudden, it comes to your heart. And then all of a sudden, you're saying and feeling good things about yourself, your people, your community, your family. And you're sitting down with your little ones at home and telling them this is what's going on in the world, but this is who we really are. And let me tell you, love is the most powerful thing in this world. Not the hate. We always will rise above that. But we need to do it collectively, together, one voice, one unit, one world, and, and have that realization that we should not be failing one another. My mother was murdered, and her murder walked, and I had to watch that. My mother was disregarded because she was indigenous. Many of us are. We survive genocide day in, day out. It does not, does not stop for us. This is something we survived every day, all of us. And I'm telling you right now, we know, we know how all of our colored people feel. We know how each other feel at this time. So we need you to check your privilege. Check it. Talk about it. Address it. And if we can just get to the real point of it, and the point is this, there is profit in all of our suffering. There is profit in all of our suffering all over the world. And most of our suffering as indigenous peoples and as people of color is what they want the most, land, bodies of water, control, real estate, all of these things. Okay, In a world right now where everything's shut down, we're realizing what we really need to survive in this world, and that is each other. This does not matter anymore. This does not matter anymore. No longer does this matter. We need each other to survive. We need you to get properly educated with people who have lived experience. I have survived every major 
fucking trauma in this country as an indigenous person. You name it, I've survived it. I have not let any kind of crutch take me down. I broke that crutch and I ran with it. Now the whole world has heard my voice. What are you doing? The whole world knows my mother's name. They are listening, they are paying attention. What are you gonna do after we end this video here tonight? You have to hold yourself accountable in this day and age of 2020, here we are still talking about it. It's now time for action. What are you going to do collectively? We shouldn't be gathering here, just all these people of color here and, and, and our non-Indigenous allies. It should, all of us, what are you doing? So if you're not well, deal with that. Get well, and then once you're well enough and you're not harboring all this hate and this anger, and then you come to people like us, come to our colored brothers and sisters and say, hey, I need to ask you some questions. I want to know about this. What can I do? How can I help? You do not allow the systematic racism keep failing us. You do something, you write letters, you protest, you, you do everything that you can. You get all non-Indigenous people in a room and you do something. We are not the kind of people here to wait for the opportunity. We are the people who create it. Straight out. Okay, I'm done, I'm tired of this. I do not speak anymore, I move forward. I'm a program coordinator at the Institute for the Advancement of Aboriginal Women who are doing the work. We do the work. We just need you to take your part now. Thank you very much. Hi, hi.